Hello everyone. While traveling in Japan, you get exposed to a lot of different culture. In addition to appreciating history, local flora, regional heroes like Ryoma Sakamoto on this license plate, and taking in the sights, such as trains, there is modern entertainment that you will be exposed to. In Kochi, Anpaman is huge, as can be seen on this train. Anpaman was created by Takashi Yanase, a writer, poet, illustrator, and lyricist. The main character, Anpaman, is a superhero man with a red bean paste filled bun for a head. Why a bun for a head? The creator, Takashi Yanase, faced starvation during World War II and dreamt of eating a bun filled with the red bean paste. Yanase was born in Kochi, and if you've seen the animated series at all, you'll notice that the mountains show up frequently in the background. These were inspired by the mountains around Kochi. We took a morning to take the train and bus to the Yanase Takashi Memorial Museum, which is nestled in the mountains. It was pretty easy to spot the bus at Beriafu, with all the characters on the outside and inside. The bus was a nice ride into the countryside. Once we got off the bus, I was delighted to see that there were ample manhole covers in the area. It was a short walk past the rest stop and then on to the museum. Outside the museum are a variety of statues. Inside the museum is a large hall with a tree clock, with characters that pop out at regular intervals. There's also some huge balloons of Ampaman. In the basement is a screening room for the series, and there's various posters along the wall. Anpaman holds the Guinness World Record for the most characters. A whopping 1,768 were introduced in the first 980 episodes and films. Of course, some characters show up more than others, like Jamu Oji-san, who bakes new heads for Anpaman to revitalize his power, and his assistant, Batako. There's also his nemesis, Viking Man, which translates to Bacteria Man from the German planet. It was fun wandering through and seeing all the interactive displays for the kids, seeing various memorabilia that had been created throughout the years. And when we visited, there were paintings created by Yanisei, featuring important moments in Anpaman's ongoing battle to protect the world. So, you might be asking, why the fascination with Ampleman? He's not the strongest hero, but he's always there to help in any way he can, and will even offer a piece of his bun head to those who are hungry. A plaque under one of the paintings read that in order to help others, you must be prepared to get hurt yourself. Ampleman demonstrates some great character in selfless action, as well as not being afraid to rely on others when you yourself need help. On the top floor was an animation cell camera that was used to film the anime. The surrounding mountains show how the landscape helped inspire the anime. I loved spotting the little Anthaman heads, which prevented birds as well as children from running into the glass. Look! Up in the sky! It's Viking Man! No! It's Ampaman! No, it's a black 
kite soaring overhead. With that, it was time to head back the same way that we came. I hope you enjoyed this look into this adorable piece of Japanese culture. As always, thanks for watching.